This is Tekker 911, Episode 9, MLA Formatting. I'm J.D. Dorfman. And on this episode, we're going to show you how you can take some of the pain out of writing research papers in MLA formatting by showing you an easy way to get all of the formatting for an MLA-style paper done ahead of time. Now, normally when you're about to write a research paper in MLA formatting, you open up Word and it's a blank document. And you have to set the margins and then put your open up the footer, set your last name and the page number, and by the time you do all this, that's like takes five to ten minutes for every research paper that you're going to write. So getting the formatting done faster, and it's going to be done quick, quickly, meaning you can start have more time to start working on your research paper, get it done faster, and spend more time doing things you actually enjoy rather than writing research papers. So how to do it? We're going to show you how to download a template for Word from my website, theplaz.com. So if you go to theplaz.com, you can scroll down, and right here on the right-hand side, MLA Paper Template, you click on that, and it'll bring you to this next page here. Right-click and save, save target as, or save link as, and this will save a Word template. A Word template is like a regular Word document, except it's special. When you double-click to open it, it opens a new document as a copy of the template. So when you save it, it'll still ask you to save, and this will be never overwritten. So I just keep mine. It's on my desktop, and whenever I need to write a research paper, paper, I just double-click on it, and it opens up the paper and has all the M or most of the MLA formatting already done for me. All I have to do is customize it to meet what to meet my personal things. For example, here in the header, I have to change it to my last name and then, you know, change the, the name, teacher, course, and date it's due, and the title, and then I actually have to write the research paper. Sorry, it doesn't actually write them for you. But, now you see, all of the paper is written, and if you go to the next page, you'll see that the work cited is already formatted with indentations and everything. To write the research paper, when you're actually writing the paragraphs, just start typing it. It does the double space for you, it does the indentations. When you get to a new paragraph, just push enter once, and it will open up a new paragraph. Or it will start a new paragraph. And when you get to the end of the page, just keep typing it. It'll automatically put a new page in for you. Already have your last name and page number on the new page. So basically, all you have to do is write the research paper. You don't have to worry about any of the formatting and worry about having formatting mistakes. This is an easy way to get all the points for proper formatting on your rubric. And, as I said, leave you time to do things you actually enjoy rather than formatting your research paper. So I'm Michael Plasmeyer. I'm J.D. Dorfman. We'll see you next time here on Tekker 911. For computer help, visit Tekker, our social computer help network, at T-E-C-K-E-R.net. To watch this episode again, get show notes, or get show notes, or subscribe to versions for your feed reader, both video and audio in multiple formats, visit our website at 911.tecker.net. Also on iTunes, search for Tecker in the iTunes store, and you can subscribe to versions for your iPod. Ooh, iPod! You can send us your show suggestions, feedback, and other mail at 911 at tecker.net or leave us a voicemail at 610-572-2730.